But anyways, uh, hi everybody, my name is Jeff Smith, I'm the Director of Production Operations at Centro, and my quick night is to make on-call more humane and more human. Uh, most of you probably have some sort of um, uh, on-call schedule service that you're using, page duty, picture option, whatever. And there's a ton of information there, analytics, uh, data science, you can throw all that stuff to make your on-call life suck less, but what I do is use role playing. Why? Because I love Dungeons and Dragons, for one. And two, there haven't been too many scenarios where I haven't been able to ask myself, what would my D and D group, and then do the opposite. Uh, but role playing gives me an opportunity to sort of inhabit someone else's persona and look at an uh, issue from a different perspective. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick little exercise. I want you to imagine the most annoying person you can think of. Office personal doesn't matter, right? Really envision that person's mannerisms, their uh, cadence of speech, and then what we're going to do is. We're going to pretend that instead of our pager service alerting us, this asshole is calling us. Okay? <laughs> so just really get in your mind what this person sounds like, how they annoy you. Now the magic trick is, we are going to talk about what the page is actually conveying and versus what it's saying. Right? And this is the magic trick. So I can say, hey Bob, it's really freaking good to see you. Right? Even though I'm saying one thing, my body language is conveying a very different thing. And this happens all the time with pages. So we're going to go through a quick role play exercise and do this. Now my favorite time when this happens is the alert that you have absolutely no action to take, right? It's the long garbage collection. How many of you got that page, right? The interesting thing about long garbage collection is it's already over, right? It's already finished. So why are you waking up? So basically we're looking at a situation where someone's calling you and saying, yeah, uh, there was a long garbage collection about two minutes ago. Nothing for you to do. Just thought I'd wake you up in the middle of the night and let you know everything's fine. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> right? Why are we even bothering with these pages? Or the pages with no specific data, right? Yeah, server I79825319 is dead. Oh, okay. Is that a service? Is, is anything being actually impacted? What can I actually do with that information? Another useless page. Or you get page for stuff you can't handle. Yeah. The billing reconciliation process failed. The numbers for August don't line up. So we're thinking maybe it's DNS. Uh, so we're just going to page out to you for that. Anybody with kids knows the flapping alert is also known, right? Hey, service is back. Wait, no. Service is down. Oh, wait, it's back. <laughs> service is down. Shit. Give me a second. Yeah, service is down. No value at all. So ask yourself the five questions when you create a page, right? When you create an alert, ask who, what, when, where, why. Why is the fun the who is the fun one, right? Like why is it who why is the page to me? Why do I need to get alerted? When you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you come across a treasure chest. Who opens it? The thief. Why? Because they can disarm traps. Right? The only reason the fighter opens it is because he's got more heat points. So when the trap goes off in his face, he's more equipped to handle it. Don't let your ops people be the one that take it in the face. If you're not able to handle the page or ask to manage it, send it off to the right person. What is page doing? Sounds simple, right? But sometimes you get a page that actually makes no sense. You're like, I don't even know what this thing is. Can I identify specific details about what service or uh, host is being impacted? When did the error get detected? Is this one of those other bullshit long garbage collections where you're like, hey, just letting you know that something happened two hours ago and it seemed important to let you know about it now. Is it worth paging me right now for this? So think about making sure you convey when this actually happened. Where did it happen? Production, staging, also known as QA production, the build by one, also known as event production, right? <laughs> what data center did it occur in, right? Knowing these bits of information will help you evaluate and give context to what's happening when I get the alert. And then why is it paging? Don't assume, the, don't assume the page speaks for itself. Nothing's more annoying than an alert that says high CPU utilization. Yeah, that's what I paid for, right? That's exactly why I paid. So don't tell me that you're doing what I actually asked you to do, okay? Remember, we're interrupting people's lives. Whenever you alert someone, there's something that they were doing that you just blatantly interrupted. So make sure it's actually useful. Make sure it's actually actionable. And make sure you're giving them as much context as possible when you interrupt their dinner date. The other thing is don't default to paging for a few reasons. One is 2018. Stop calling it paging, right? You don't page it, right? But the other thing is like ask yourself, do I really need, do I really care that this has happened, right? Email, Slack, those are great for low-level alerts. So recap, envision someone that drives you crazy, pretend all the pages are coming from this person, ask what the page is telling me, and if you're still annoyed and come back with a snappy remark to that person, chances are your page is still shitty. So keep working on it and try to make it a little bit better. 
Thank you.